Right, another video. This one's kind of a tutorial. Um, this is on HDR photography, um, high dramatic range photography. Um, this has been very popular for 10 years. It's kind of not as popular anymore, but it's really cool. Uh, a lot of begin beginning photographers like this. Um, it makes photos pop a little bit more 3D. Got a lot of creativity going into these shots. Um, basically, what you're doing is taking um, multiple shots at different um, different exposures. So you got light and dark photos, and you're going to stack them all together in some sort of software. So you get uh, you get all the shadows exposed, and you get all the the brights um, all in one shot. Um, and it just kind of makes it more, gives a little bit more pop. Um, there's tons of software out there. I use, uh, I generally use this software that I've been using. I bought it for a hundred bucks like ten years ago, so I'm getting my money out of it. <laughs> it's uh, called Photomatics. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and here's some just examples of HDR um, photography that I've shot over the years. It's a lot of fun. I suggest you try it if you hadn't. There's tons more software than what. Uh, there used to be out there, so you could do, uh, um, you know, give this uh, Photomatics a trial, or, or you could try some other software. But uh, let's check out how to actually set this up on the camera, and I'll show you how to do this on a Pentax K70. So here you go. All right, I'm shooting this on a GoPro uh, Hero 5 today. So uh, let's get started. So uh, this is the Pentax K70. Um, now they have an in-camera HDR, I'll just show you that real quick. It's kind of crappy. I've never had an in-camera HDR that actually worked good. It does all the processing inside the camera, so I don't recommend this. I recommend doing it yourself. That way you can process it. Um, the uh, Photomatic software has like all these pre-filters that are really good. I usually start with that and um, go from there and kind of adjust a little bit and then throw it into Lightroom after I've uh, done a little bit and do a little bit more editing. So um, right here on the on your little thing, it might be in a different place on your camera, but that's your drive mode. If you click on that, um, typically you're in there or there. Um, over here it has this thing that kind of looks like the exposure compensation. That's your bracketing, as you can see there. Um, you go down here, you have your normal bracketing where you can just hold down the, hold down, hold down the trigger or shutter. Uh, button or you've got a timer uh, give uh, 10 or 2 to 10 seconds and then you have your uh, your remote if you want to do it in remote and down here at the bottom you can see um, I'm set up to do five shots across there so you could adjust that uh, on the front dial here um, you can go down to two and do whichever one you want there you could do three and then you could also adjust here this is the steps in between your shots getting lighter or brighter. So you go all the way out to, to pass three there. I typically keep it at like two and I do five. Um, and that's all you need. Um, well, I usually shoot these in raw because I'm going to be editing these. Um, and it's got going to have lots of lights and brights. So uh, typically I shoot uh, JPEG if you've watched my other um, videos. But in this case I'm shooting raw. And all you do is just hold down and then there you go it just shot all of them so you see here you got a dark one normal one it's getting dark dark and light so you've got all these different exposures here uh, granted that's just my pool table but whenever you're doing this you want to you want to um, you want to put it on a tripod generally you don't have to but you, you make sure your shutter speed isn't going too too low on those uh, and those really, uh, you know, on some of the shots. So, um, I would save these kind of shots for like um, something where there's a lots of, uh, you know, bright highlights and lots of shadows, and it'll just make your photos pop really cool. So, here's some more um, examples. Like I said, I use Photomatics and I drop them into Lightroom after I finish in Photomatics and generally just try one of their presets, whichever one I like. Sometimes I'll do. Even black and white looks really good. You'll get that high contrasty kind of looking images like you can see here. Um, it's a lot of fun. I suggest trying it out. Um, if you don't, uh, you can try this software or there's plenty of other ones. You can just kind of Google and, and, and try several different softwares and see what you like best. But anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. I've got, I've got some other videos that you might enjoy. If you want to click back through my archive, you can hit that little bell 
and it will bring up some, um, you'll get notifications when I come out with uh, videos. Sometimes I'll do several in a week, sometimes I won't do <laughs> one for a couple of months, so uh, I'm kind of sporadic like that. So anyway, enough blabbering on. Uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead, subscribe. Thanks.